Hey what's up everyone, d here, bringing to you my thoughts and opinions on Lord of the Rings Return to Martha. Now this game was out when I was on vacation, and I've decided to near enough give my thoughts and opinions on this game. I just near enough want to clarify that I give a review 1-2 to two weeks to get my full pledged opinion on things, and I'll be going through the good shits and the bad shits that Lord of the Rings Return to Martha has to offer. Without further ado, let us begin. Now, Lord of the Rings Return to Martha is more or less a mining, crafting, survival type game. From various games such as Minecraft, Terraria, and I would also throw in the forest too. The events of this take place after the One Ring is destroyed, if you are a Lord of the Rings fan. And basically, you see an old Gimli try to nearly enough reunite all the dwarves to come together to reclaim Martha, which is apparently a big place for all the dwarves and whatnot. Uh, basically, you are in there, and an accident goes wrong, and you, the player, end up getting caught in that accident, throwing you inside Morpha from somewhere else. And while, basically enough, you must find your way out, but also find the problem on how the dwarves can't even get into Morpha right now. And you need to be careful, because you are not alone. And, basically, that's about it regarding the whole game. So... Let us move on to the good shits and the bad shits that Lord of the Rings Martha has to offer. Starting off with the good shits, I will first nearly enough like to commend them on nearly enough their customizable character system. Now you basically can make a dwarf however way you see fit. I mean heck, you can even be a female dwarf and even have a beard. That's one big up I would initially say to that. But you can even give your dwarf a backstory or and also how he nearly enough acts as well. You just gotta say one big up on that. Another big thing I would say that I would pretty say is good is on how basically randomly generated the map is. So basically enough, if you start out in a new world, not everything will be the same old, same old, and you might encounter new things while you're down there as well. And even on another plus side too, whenever you are making a new world, you can use your other dwarf from your previous game to come in as well, and you could probably start up with the game with some pretty hefty good loot with you as well. Or if you just start low on resources, you can just make a new world, get some resources that you need, and fuck off back to your old world with the resources intact. What's you gotta say? Another big thing up, I would say, about this. And I gotta say, my final bit to say about the good shits is that it really does not hold your hand much at all. Sure, it does so for the tutorial, but once that's gone, you let off the hand, and off you go. Go explore, go mine, go make something, go sing shanties whenever you're mining, or go have a one with the lads and whatnot. I mean, sure, there are some waypoints there to help you with your quest, and there are some puzzles in the game. Yes, there are some puzzles. But basically enough, if you need to solve those puzzles, you gotta solve them yourself. Because basically no one's gonna be there to hold your hand the whole way through. Unless basically you're playing with an experienced player or whatnot. But, yeah, that is everything... I got to enough say about the good shits. So let's move on now to the bad shits. Starting off first with the bad shits, my main problem I got in the NFC I have with the game is probably the combat. Now the combat isn't, I would say, the best. It's probably jagged and clunky, especially when you're attacking, because you sometimes might not be able to hit your target and whatnot. And it, you may even have a hard time on trying to even hit the target as well since it doesn't really have a lock-on system, and uh, whatnot. Now, my other concern problem that I would probably say about this game is that this game, to me, kind of feels like it was more able to enjoy if you're playing with friends or with other people. But the thing is, though, they don't have a way to probably make a server and probably have random people join your world. Now, I can understand it through both ways, if they're probably worried about people might be joining only to just cause trouble and grief your world. When in reality games regarding dwarves, I really don't see much of a problem with that when a game in general called Deep Rock Galactic, it's probably the most nicest and humble community I've ever fucking seen in the end. And if people are worried about stuff like that, they can probably just like make their own private server or make a world just private for them or just for their friends. And that's another thing that I also have a problem with. When it comes to inviting friends, if your friends want to join, they have to fucking put in a big fucking digit code in order to play. When why can they not just have like an invite thing 
sent them, and they're already in the game. And that is everything regarding the bad shits. Which brings me to my verdict. And that is, is this game good? I'm going to say, it's okay. It's not good, but it's not bad either. I like on how basically enough the maps are randomly generated on how you play the game or when you're starting a new world. And I like on how the deep you go, the more dangerous it is, but on the plus side, the better loot you get in the process as well. And for the fact being that you can basically go to another world if you want to, just to either gather resources or just play something else entirely different. But the bad things I've got in the end of just say is that this game could have been more enjoyable with random people that you meet along the way. Again, I could just easily point them to Deep Rock Galactic when it comes to their community, nicest community known to mankind. The combat isn't really the best, the fact being that you can't make a server, which I do say I can see a double-edged sword through both sides, and I can agree on both ends as well. And not to mention, I have found a few bugs and glitches in the game to where more or less I can't sprint, or sometimes I'm stuck in crouching, and the only way to fix the game is to, well, leave and then join back. But what do you think? Do you agree with my decisions? Do you disagree with my decisions? Or how else do you probably view this game? I would, enough, would love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Without that being said, if you did find this review helpful, or if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't, then don't, and I give a rat's ass. Or if you're interested in joining the Red Kingdom in any way, shape, or form, then a link to our Discord server is in the description below. But yep, without that being said, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, peace, DX is out.